A just leaning on Vinny behind box, kind of actually inside Donut Hall. So no contest in middle, no hold towards the A site. Immediate 2K out of Grim from mid. So this one's looking like complexity have their name stamped all over it. That one's a little bit too easy, right? Not even one bullet landed here for Imperial. Oh, there's one bullet landed. Good start. Joda's got the next. Ooh, and Fang tries to push in close, get the trade frag. Now suddenly, man advantage. Damage versus JT. Floppy's gonna have to be the one to come in big or else it's the Imperial 3v5. Wow. Straight up three. Fala galera, tranquilo? Estou aqui no início do vídeo para convidar todos vocês para participar da nossa comunidade Aleartes, um grupo relacionado especialmente para CSGO. Vamos trocar bastante ideia sobre o jogo, sorteios, lobbies, mix com a galera e outras novidades exclusivas para todos que estiveram no grupo. Então não perde tempo, é de graça e infelizmente as vagas são limitadas. Link vai estar na descrição do vídeo, basta descer a tela aí e entrar, fechou? Vejo todos vocês lá, é nóis, guys! There's one, but of course Bolts is getting up close. I've never seen three players on this box at once, but there's no way he predicts a second. I mean, the fact that actually works. Jota though from Red Room immediately trades back, so it's not as though Fang can get out of there. And then the cave play also into the favor of Imperial, but Halzerk will get that one back. Wow. Floppy wasted no time coming up from Rem, so we get that. But Floppy puts himself in the perfect spot, takes Fallen out. Lineup's a little preemptive, so Floppy's able to cross over. Bomb is now being planted, and Floppy again looking to go deep, chases and nearly kills the second player on that lane. Instead, Bolts saves his teammate. Fang's gonna turn his attention back for <laughs> mid. Sickening double headshot. And just like that, the life of Imperial taken away. They thought they had that 4v3 rolling. The fact they're able to shut down Floppy as he pushes up short, that's one thing, but Fang. That was Chris, animalistic. second kill. Oh, yeah. That was beautiful. And, man, the fact they jumped up at the same time, too. Fallen. Nice, clean kill on Fang. Oh! Ooh. Unfortunate there for Bolts. He finishes off Fallen. Yeah, and he's actually low, and so is Cello somehow. And we get a quick pop out of Floppy. He's been a real key piece to these overtakes on the B site. While Cave gets smoked off, that is a chance for the bomb to come inwards. Yeah, he peeks all the way back there. They know there's still an op up, right? Oh, no, there isn't actually. Killed by Bolts. They didn't grab it. Are they gonna go into the cave? Oh, that's a huge call out what? too. Wow. This... After they, right after Cello left. Both of These them. are the mind games, bro. These are the mind games. The two cave players go back onto lane, so all four of Imperial players are on lane. Halzerk chopping down the first. JT drawing attention. Floppy's original position smoked off. Comes back at it from long with a double. And Joda sitting on top of that bomb, taps it to elicit an answer. JT closes the gap, dies, and leaves Joda on a measly 19 HP. It is Floppy. So that's the only that's the call out JT and no other IGL in the world can make right now with the amount of times they played against each other. Hyper aggressive from Joda though, taking the fight right to them. Support from Cello. Grim on the response. Joda comes back and gets another kill. Beautiful round out of Joda so far. And still more to offer with his 7 HP. Smoke for Cave. Molly for this corner, but oh, Molly doesn't hit the ground. Floppy will get his impact. Bolt stops it then and there. Fang, dead just as quick. So Bolt's nice little recovery from that team kill in the last one. There's more than just pistols down here. They're gonna get aggressive. Fangs up top. Ooh, wow. Fallen. Ooh, he's still fast. I mean, who's faster? Floppy got the deeg, but Fallen got the snap. And then Fang gets active. Cello along the wall turns around. Two kills both ways. Fang's looking to make the difference. Bolts on the back lane, lands an excellent grenade. Gives his team a huge health advantage for this 2v2. Ooh. But Vinny's crosshair wasn't ready for that lower peak. Bolts comes in with the answer. Both players half health. Fang, who's having a fantastic second map, 14 and 7. Already starting to walk up that ramp as Bolts puts smoke on bomb. And then comes back around. Damage both ways. It's going to be close. And Fang has had enough. Oh, we got a little extra a peak. Just... from Fang to close it out. And that barely recovers the money for complexity. Okay. 
flying player distracts Fang so Bolts can capitalize 5v4. That is not the first time that's happened. Floppy looks to exit a main while Fallen plays SMG close. Works both ways. Mactan responds. Mactan, that's what Freakazoid Mac uses. <laughs> yeah. Said simple, get a Mactan. Possible, honestly. The, like Imperial, unless they get really nervous. Well, they might get nervous because they have no one to be. So that's the one thing. And they're also okay, ready enough for that, apparently. <laughs> and enough players to swing for trades. Nice Imperial re keeps no, it close. Nice right. <laughs> Good dink. Joda's gun is empty. Cello just awaits to see whether or not they decide to push to cave again. That's a team flash, unfortunately, that made things weird. And there's enough CTs in place to close. <laughs> Bolts gonna mop them up hard like crystals. Joda, one back sight. It's all that's here. And Halzerk goes down empty handed. So B site completely swarmed. But we did see a 3v5 CT pistol retake in the first 15, so tell me why it can't happen twice. I won't, because it can. Vinny's gonna get himself another kill. Fallen and Cello adding to the tally. Now it's gotta be something miraculous hmm. and miracles. Three on the push. Nate finds Floppy, who gets ahead of the fire. Uh, oh, JT up close. He's gonna try to chase this out, but a wall bang from Cello. Sit down. However, the third in Grim comes back at it and is given a chance to fall back. If they think that B site's clear for the taking, they're wrong. Halzer caught on the rotation, Fang alongside him, but Vinny off of the bomb plant already gets close to the cave troll door. And Grim denied. Vinny looking for the double, blinded in the process as the CTs get ever closer. A fantastic job of sectioning off fights, but it puts the pressure back on Cello, only 10 HP. Flash deep, one tap, he sits back, waits, and lines up the first, but Fang will make the difference yet I, again. I think Imperial are going to be able to know this. Whoa, Fang dives into cover, comes back, one for him and another to Grim. Bodies inside middle, Halzerk, he's been spotted. Oh, he didn't know they ran past. He got the dink off on Vinny at the very least, but the fact that Joda crosses over, Joda now 21 and 8. They have one smoke left over, and they haven't used it yet. It'll go into Donut, but this trade. Critical flank here from Fang. Do they push the issue? They have Remember, saving smoke. with just one last round. I think this makes sense for Fang to route this way. If JT comes out, nobody's watching Vinny's back. If JT makes contact first, he has Vinny sitting duck. But he doesn't come around the corner until it's time to trade. At least he's still got that. Molly towards the back side. JT watching main. We've got a crossfire set with another smoke deep. They're going to get on top of Bomb. Trying to steal this with the defuse. Fallen fires through it. But Fang gets it in. Wow. And the game stays close. That was Chasing him down as well. Oh, he went as nerfed at this distance. Half health on two. Blinded Fang also now dropped to 59. Joda's Mac 10 picks up a kill elsewhere. And that A site absolutely crumbles. Well, the T's are getting a little hungry here. Playing close to the smoke. Once that gun's full, you could spray that smoke justifiably. Yeah, Halzer. Oh, gonna find the know. first one. Fallen's also on it. Oh, but Halzer's got a pistol out. Wow, he ran out of ammo. Had to switch over. Fang in another clutch situation, trying to keep Imperial's lead within touching distance. Complexity have awaited these guns. Gotta make the most of them. JT will at least bring down Cello. Big scalp to take. And Joda's also on his deathbed. But still breathing. Bolts can't stay the same. Dies out to Grim. That's an assist now for the lane play. Fallen's gonna tuck back in behind doors. And the bomb's in for Imperial. So it's a man advantage, but it's a retake needed. Cave smoke comes up. Draws the attention of the long player. He decides to throw a smoke deep towards CT. Floppy will clear sight. And Fallen comes in with another Joda's wraparound. Oh. Almost catching Grimm off. Ooh, wow. damn. Bolts. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That was not easy to see. Another 5v4 here for Imperial. Bodes well for them. Economy on the line. 
A 3v5 needed and nothing's gonna happen in this B site. Nothing other than Imperial domination. Complexity crushed by taxes. <laughs> Norwegian taxes. <laughs> Ball and kicking it up a notch. We said we expect good things from him individually. And we have had those clean shots so far. But this second map has just been dominated by Jota and Cello. Yeah, it's no the kidding. map where Complexity's dreams go to die. And Washington on the line here at the showdown. Hulzerk. It's another round where Complexity find themselves equipped. They've been far and few between. Grim, singular kill. Bomb picked back up and nobody else here to stop it. A retake needed. Two versus four. Imperial knocking on the door of Overpass. Bang played. Lights out. But unfortunately for him, a stark drop off from Halzerk and from JT's individual levels. Floppy not able to replicate the performance on Inferno here either. Now Fang, in a sad situation, tasked to exit Donut 1v3. Molly in front of him, smoke on top of him. He'll at least put out the fire, but it is Imperial that burn bright here on map two. Joda closes. It's only apt, as he was a monster on this second map. And we... <laughs>